All right, well, what we're gonna talk about today is weight. Oh, Lila there, she weighs about 16 pounds. Me, on the other hand, every year it's a little more, about 220 now, but I about gave up on me cutting weight, so I found ways to cut the weight in the boat, and here we go. This thing here, it's MMG 12 volt battery. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe the weight. You wanna hold it there, Lila? Can you pick that up, baby? She don't wanna pick it up for us. 1.98 pounds. Unbelievable. I, I feel like it's not gonna work. <laughs> It doesn't, it feels fake. But anyway, we're finna hook it up on there. See it work for real. We're back here where I keep my battery in this little compartment here. And uh, let me find a way to fudge that open real quick. Got the old toolbox there, hold that open. But uh, anyway, first of all, I'm gonna say do not take electrical wiring advice from me. I'm not saying don't listen to me about this battery working or not. But I have built, here's my little toggle board, you know. I put a little breaker switch in it, which I think this is fine. Um, the reason I did it is because I'm prone to hitting this and not knowing it. Or who knows, a, there he sit. a kid hits it, and if I'm on the water, it's fine, I'm going to notice it. But if I'm at the house, you'll never notice it. So here's a battery I've been currently running for the last couple years. Uh, it only weighs 19 pounds from Walmart, 340 cranking amp. Uh, but we're going to replace it with 1.9 pounds. So, mm, get my wrenches out, pull this off. Right, so here are the batteries side by side. Uh, quite a steel bit of difference in size. I mean, in the weight is, I mean, ex extraordinarily different. If you were going to be coming from a regular battery that's 50 to 65 pounds, I'm going to something like this, you'd definitely notice it in the performance of your boat. Uh, on a boat like mine. Now, if you're a heavy boat that's loaded for fishing and trolling motor batteries and lures and stuff like that, you probably wouldn't notice it. But a boat like mine is going to make a difference when I'm stuck and having to push. I mean, you always hear the saying, the straw that breaks the camel's back. So I'm hoping the next time I'm stuck, that's the straw right there. The difference between making it and not making it. Anyway, getting picky, but I'm going to clean this up back here and uh, start mounting. Just notice that this was dangling around back there. I'm gonna get that stuff back in there. I don't even know why we carry have to carry uh, fire extinguishers in boats. It's like if I have a fire, I'll probably just splash water on it versus digging in compartments looking for this thing. Anyway, I don't make the rules. I don't follow them half the time either though, but clean it up, ain't it, Lila? Oh yeah, get some of that cork. Put that old passy out, get a cork. Y'all don't know, I hadn't figured it out yet. I've been a stay-at-home dad for, since like 2015. Uh, my wife's a travel nurse and we go places. And it was getting really groovy with the two older kids. They're 10 and eight right now. Uh, and we could do and go, I mean, they could go and do everything with me. Uh, but here we go with Lila, she's eight months. It's her first assignment since she was born. And uh, we're down here in Lufkin, staying on this place. And got the Angelina Natchez River, which you've already seen a video of that. But uh, anyway. I do love it, but God, it's work sometimes, especially when the weather was bad the last couple days. We had cabin fever, Lauren's been at work, and we've been stuck in the house with the rain and cold weather and stuff like that. So, sun's out, and uh, we're out playing. The other two girls are down there dipping it in fish somewhere. But anyway, almost done cleaning this up. One of this battery is uh, Steve. I'm not even gonna pronounce his last name, Pavnika. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Up in Illinois, said so he's been running them. And uh, I've known this for probably about a year, him and I talked about it, but I finally pulled the trigger and did it. Um, he's also built me a little uh, perforated battery holder. It's in the mail on the way. And when I get back home, I'm going to mount that up in here. So it'll hold this into place. That way, when I'm doing sweet jokes and stuff, this don't end up upside down. Which is a perk of these. Just wanted to say, you can mount this in any direction, does not matter. Um, so. What do you think, Lila? Is it gonna start the motor? I think she thinks it will. Right, there it is, it's mounted. Uh, when I get back to my shop, I'm gonna definitely, I'll have Steve's little perforated thing to mount this down with, and I'm gonna come up with a better system for this shut off. Um, just kinda, it's tacky is what it is. But anyway, here's the moment of truth. 
girls are down there checking the park track. Got a radio. Here we go. Time to go to the river, and Lila. Ha <laughs> ha, keep ready. All right, that's good news. Uh, one big, hold on. Blue one's kinda, and then one's small. So anyway, that's it guys, it works. There's no doubt about it, it's got a little test slide here. Look at that, it's still full of charge, obviously that's it. I'm going to the Trinity River this weekend to set some lines. I'll be using my light bar bilge pump and all the interior lights and stuff and really get to test it, so. But I am gonna go riding tomorrow. I may just wind riding tomorrow, run some, run some stuff and um, kill the engine and crank it and see how it goes so anyway that's it guys lila approves hey one more thing i will do i'm going to turn everything on that's my side lights interior light bilge pump front led light bar so far so good Hey, Lala, will you put all these tools up? I'm going to go in, okay, give me some tea. See you, baby. Ah, just kidding. I do need to wash my hands because i got battery stuff on before I pick her up. You know what? I'm not going to leave her out there. The minute I do that, she's going to crawl over that. Anyway, hey, good luck to everybody this spring. Hope to be posting more videos of catching some catfish, me and the girls especially. But this coming up weekend, uh, or next week or so, we'll be looking for a video me and my cousin. Uh, we're going to be setting those lines on the Trinity, so... See y'all on the water, maybe. Here's my big helper editing video with me.